Hey y'all, welcome to Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie from HeritageWays.com. Welcome to Project 54. And if you would like to learn what the project's about and learn more about it, then I have a link down in the description box that tells all about what's going on here at Heritage House. We are ready today for Project 54, Episode 3. And this week, we are doing Family Favorites. Today, it's episode three, Oven Barbecue Ribs. I hope you enjoy. All right, getting started on our oven barbecue ribs. We have a pack of um, country style ribs. These are boneless. You can use spare ribs, whatever ribs you want to use for this. Our family prefers this pack of uh, boneless ribs. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and put a half a stick of butter in your dish. This is, I like to use this nine by 13 oblong Pampered Chef stoneware. I'm putting this in the oven while my oven heats up. It's kind of a tricks um, tip, uh, a cook's tip, I should say, because you can melt the butter in there instead of having to do it on the stove. So. 350. All right, I'm going to take, and just so I don't have to wash my hands a whole bunch of times, I'm going to get a fork and I am going to put these ribs. I'm going to put these ribs in my stock pot here. Well, actually, it's a Dutch oven. And uh, let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of these. And I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to partially boil them, which is called parboil. For about 10 minutes or so. This recipe was given to me years ago by my our friend Tammy Owen down in southern middle Tennessee when we lived there the first 52 years of our lives. <clears throat> and uh, it's just delicious. Delicious. She made these and we made them. I made them a lot after I got her recipe. It's time to hone our hospitality skills with a table tip. It is so nice to be able to use cloth napkins rather than paper, and this also saves money. All right, there's our family pack. Gonna throw this away. I will, of course, be washing my hands after I handle the meat. Another tip is I go straight to the dishwasher when I'm cooking. There you go. I go straight to the dishwasher to put my dirty dishes. I'm just gonna cover with water. Bring them up to a boil, no seasonings. I'm gonna bring them up to a boil. I'm gonna simmer them for about 10 minutes or so. All right, I have taken the ribs from the water. Now that just tenderized them a little bit. We weren't trying to cook them. All right, we have par parboiled them. That's a hard word to say for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna put these in my dish and just kind of roll them around. Remember, I've got my melted butter in here. Um, also, you could use the um, you could use pastry brushes or basting brushes. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But I'm gonna get these in here. I'm just kind of rolling them around in the butter. Okay, I want to show you, so I've got the basting brushes or pastry brushes. Um, I have used paint brushes from the paint store for years and uh, good ones that the, the bristles don't fall out. You could do that. Of course, only use them for food if you're doing that. And um, this is silicone one from Pampered Chef and you could baste with that. Now, this is not necessarily a baster. This is more of a barbecue mop. I don't know the right word. I know my friends out there, like my friend Terry and others who know much more about barbecuing and grilling than I do, but that's what that is typically for, kind of to mop sauces when you're grilling. Okay, at this point, we're going to just sprinkle a Louisiana hot sauce. I don't know if sprinkle's the right word. Now, it says you can do it to taste, to your flavor, to your liking. And again, if you just want to roll it around in that to get it kind of distributed the way you want it, you can do that as well. 
we're going to sprinkle, you don't have to measure a lot here, or at all, I guess, sprinkle garlic powder. This is not garlic salt. This is garlic powder. Then I've got seasoning salt. Now, this is no MSG. You get what you want, but I don't like, I can't afford to give my children MSG because it causes headaches. Y'all probably know that. Um, and two of them are susceptible to migraines. So this is a no MSG. I'm just sprinkling that on there. And then the last ingredient, if you can't find this at your grocery store, maybe you can find it online. I found it at my local IGA and I think Kroger stores have it. Uh, the Original Country Bob's All-Purpose Sauce for Steak, Chicken, and Fries. This is not the marinade. I know they have a marinade sauce, but this is not that. And then for this amount, three to four pounds of ribs, you're going to pour the whole bottle on top. Actually, not as much as you think, because it's 12, I think it's 12 ounces. Now, if you want to, you can roll those ribs around in it, but honestly, I think I've adequately covered. I think we're good on that. I'm not able to, to give you the recipe at this time with as much filming as I'm doing for Project 54, but I hope you're writing, jotting this down. At the end of our Project 54, I'm going to let you know where you can get a lot of these recipes. Cover with foil. Tightly. You're going to be steaming and baking those ribs. 350 for one hour. think. Look at that. Alright, they're tender enough to eat after one hour. Look at that. If your ribs are a little larger, if you want them a little bit more tender, I mean they're coming apart just fine. Look at that. And you can leave them in longer if you want to, or if you want to cook them on a lower temperature and cook them for a longer period of time. But look at that. They are coming apart just fine. Very tender. Super good. Mm. Super good. Cooked all the way through in an hour. But I'm telling you, this is delicious. It is not too hot with that hot sauce. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.